start with the basic accounting equation here. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Here are a list of some of the common assets. Cash, otherwise known as bank. Any kind of account receivable. Supplies, equipment, van, building, land. These typically have a debit balance. So when you see them in a T account here, if it's an asset, the, if you want it to go up, it'll be on the left, which means debit. And usually the big number is going to be on the left. So assets, remember, on the left side of the equation. On the right hand side of the equation, liabilities and owner's equity. So typically here, the balance or the big numbers will be on the right. Right meaning credit. So let's keep that in mind as we go along. We're going to provide some transactions here, things that happen. So typically when a business starts, the owner invests money, which means that the bank will go up. So we always list the debit first, regardless of whether we're paying or receiving, the debit goes first. So here, the bank is debited, let's say 5000 and the credit has to be the same. Now we need to determine what's going to be 5000 Now, in order for capital to go up, it has a credit balance usually, which means it has to go up on the credit side. And that works perfectly here. So we'll list capital, and capital goes up 5000 So if it's on this side of the equation, liabilities or owner's equity, up means credit. So this is what this would look like. So bank was debited 5000 capital was credited 5000 The next thing that might happen is we might purchase some equipment. So now we have more equipment. Pardon the spelling errors. I'm not going to start over for the sake of just keeping this simple. So now equipment is up 2000 Now if we purchase with cash, then I know that cash has to come down 2000 So cash needs to be credited 2000 Okay, So if it's an asset, which it is, in order for it to go down, it has to go on the right-hand side, which is credit. We're not going to use negative anymore. We're going to use credit or debit. Next, we might buy some supplies, right? So here, supplies goes up, let's say 200. And now something has to be credited 200. Here, we're saying on account. So if we didn't pay cash for it, then we have a payable. We have a brand new payable now. And payable is a liability, and those numbers go up on the credit side. Balance, okay? Always start with the debit. Next, we might buy, let's say, a van. So our van account would go up, let's say, 1500 And here it says we paid some cash and some on account. So if we paid some cash, then cash has to go be credited. So cash here, and let's say we pay 500 cash, so we credit 500. And here we have another payable, let's say. And it would be the balance, so it would have to be 1,000. So make sure that when you put in a debit, you have to put in the amount, the same amount, equal amount of credits somehow. Here we provided service for cash, so here cash will actually go up. So it'll be debited, let's say 750. And now this would be a revenue. Now revenue is listed as capital. So a revenue. I'm just going to put capital. We won't do this in the future, but just know that capital will go up. And in order for capital to go up, that's got to be credited. Here we provided services on account, which means they haven't paid us yet, but they owe us. So receivables will go up. And again, we provided a service, so revenue will go up the equal amount. And 
here, since we have some money, we might as well pay off some of our debt. So let's say on January 30th, let's pay some of our payables off. So here, if we want payables to go down, it has to be debit. So we're going to debit payables, let's say 1000 And if we're putting out cash, then cash is going to be credited to equal 1000 And the explanation for this is that we paid count. with cash. So here's the explanation of what we've done. Next, we're going to transfer all of these amounts into our T accounts, but that'll be in the next video. For now, we have to focus on the fact that when we're entering, when we're explaining what happened, there has to be debit and the equal amount of credit.